Money in the bank happening this Sunday, and who's going to come out ahead? The Bloodline or the Wyatt Six? I say we go ahead and find out, Mr. Senor. One of the best matches in WWE history. The Money in the Bank. We have six of the top superstars challenging to potentially capture in the Money in the Bank briefcase. After all, that's what they signed up for. So drop a like if you guys want to find out what's going to happen with the Bloodline, what's going to happen with the Wyatt Six, and who is going to come out here as the new Money in the Bank for 2024. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We got LA Knight. We got your boy, Drew McIntyre. And several other challenges. What the hell? What is this guy doing? Is this guy lost it? And I do believe after dealing with the Wyatt Six, he's got a lot on his hand. I don't know if Chad Gable is going to be able to get it together. But I can guarantee you that your future, and again, it's just a guess, but I'm leaning more towards, I think what's going to happen here with Drew McIntyre is that there's going to be interference, right? I do believe that CM Punk, he's always waiting for him. He's like, come on. Let me challenge him, and you know he will. He's going to interfere. Drew McIntyre is going to be out of the picture. That will be a perfect opportunity for Jey Uso to capture the money in the bank. And if you guys do a poll, I can guarantee you. Go in the comments. Let me know who you guys want to see as money in the bank winner. Do you guys want to see LA Knight? Do you guys want to see Chad Gable? Or... Maybe potentially Andrade. I mean, I know he's had a great comeback, but I do believe that Angelo, he's going to have a quite challenge here in the whole mix of it all. But yes, very exciting. We got to hop straight to the backstage area before we get into the ladies match. Taker, what the hell is he doing? Get out of my way. And we're back here in the backstage area, and there is madness literally going the entire hallway. So yes, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Wyatt fan because I do believe that the Wyatt Six, they've made a significant presence on Monday Night Raw. You had the crowd. Holy shish. Holy shish. Holy shish. Because these guys were breaking the damn arena. Chad Gable was walking around trying to figure out who the hell is haunting him. And all you could see is their silhouettes. So very interesting where that's going to lead right there with the money in the bank. Now we have the Intercontinental Championship on the line, right? We got Sami Zayn. We got Braun Breaker. Look at this. If you guys ended up seeing the whole like dispute and whatnot on Monday night, you guys know that Braun Breaker, he means damn business. But Sami ain't going to cut him short. He's going to fight all all the way to the end, so pretty intrigued as to how that's going to end up. Getting over here, we need to find out as to who is going to be the next WWE champion. Now, keep in mind that uh, there might be some outside interference. I, not just on behalf right there of the you know the Judgment Day, because you guys know they're going to be surrounding the ring. You're going to have Carlito right there. But I do believe that Rey Mysterio will also be helping out Seth Rollins, mainly due to the fact that Dominic has just been a pain in the ass. So these two, oh yeah, they're going to throw down, and these are going to come down to the nitty-gritty. Will Seth Rollins' return be enough to capture the championship, or will Senor be able to retain? You guys got to go in the comments right now. At this point, I'm kind of leaning more towards Seth Rollins. We won't know until come Sunday, because, I mean, keep in mind, he is coming back from injury, so I'm pretty sure Gunther, he's going to at least show up there for a split sec to let them know that we have the bloodline. Rolling up here, and this is this match right here is going to be a three-on-three. Three. We're going to have the bloodline, right? We're going to have Randy Orton. We're going to have Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens. They're tired of this, man. Like, I understand that we have the new, what is it, the Samoan werewolf. And that's why he's in there. If you guys are wondering, like, why the hell is there a werewolf in your WWE action figure? Well, it's plain and simple, man. We got Jacob Fatu rolling up here as that. So very intrigued as to where that's going to lead. And this is a placeholder. You guys got to turn on a notification bell. We got some more customs this Saturday or Sunday. Either way, it's going to happen this weekend. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be freaking insane. And then over here, we have the brand new Tribal Chief. Now, that is kind of a question in his own right because, uh, yeah, Paul Heyman, he's pretty freaking devastated of what went down. He ended up getting put through the damn announcer table, and rumor has it. Keep in mind, this is rumor, so it could happen, it could not, but if it does happen, it would make perfect sense that Brock Lesnar, all the rumors about the backstage, him coming out here in the near future, could come down to it all because, keep in mind, the Beast himself, he is a Paul Heyman guy, or 
of course, your tribal chief. Now, technically, he's not scheduled until SummerSlam, but, I mean, this right here, that whole effect and just dominance on Paul Heyman, I do think that's going to be enough right there for Roman Reigns. And then drop a like, too, if you guys want to see Brock Lesnar or the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, making a return comeback at Money in the Bank. Man, a lot of great stuff I cannot wait to see. As far as what develops, I mean, I do believe that the tag teams, they really haven't discussed anything, but we can have some great things, especially right there with Homer. What the hell is this man doing? He's like eating hot dogs over here, doing some randomness. But yes, give me your thoughts. Go drop a comment if you guys want to see Roman Reigns back on Sunday, as well as maybe potentially some new Bloodline members. I mean, I feel like we've gotten every one, what is it, one new, yeah, for the last several weeks, we've gotten new Bloodline members. But yes, we love it. WHF Figgy Universe loves it. And the Wyatt Six, yeah, damn well, we love it. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you, my friends, on the next one. Adrenaline! Psych, you thought, yeah, no, end of the video, but we gotta give our thoughts as to who is gonna win the money in the bank. I gotta go with Naomi, man. I feel like she's kind of been a hiatus and really hasn't done much, but yes, I'm definitely going with Naomi, and if that don't play out, pretty sure it'll be Tiffany. Go in the comments, let me know.